Regardless if it's in a bottle or a can, I'm going to be reviewing a beer today, guys. Oh, BC's Beer Review. BC's Beer Review. Guess what, guys? It's time for another episode of BC's Beer Reviews. Well, yeah, let's see what we got today. Ooh, man. Now, it's the Austin Brothers Beer Company. The Mighty Merc. <laughs> And these guys are from Alpena, Michigan. So, it's a double New England style India Pale Ale. Okay. And I'm going to assume at least some of you guys have heard of the Magnol Bridge, which is in what this is in reference to. What I'm working with today. That's right. Got kind of like a tan or light brown, very, very light, light, light bronze color. I mean, it looks like a half a figurehead. A foam on there, it's white. Yep. So, uh, let's see here. Uh, Double New England Pale Ale, featuring Michigan Road, Copper, Cascade, and Triple Pearl Hops grown at 45th Parallel Hops. Also dry hopped with Mosaic and Amarillo from the Yakima <laughs> Yak Valley. Share a cold one with us at... 821 West Miller Street, Alpena, Michigan. One pint. So 16 ounces. And, well, I already gave you the hops on this. So, yep. Yeah, let's see. Well, you can see the Make It All Bridge on there. The Mighty Merc. So, yeah. So far, this looks pretty good to me. Yeah. So, this one is uh, at 8.3 ABV and uh, 55 IBU, okay? So, let's see what we got here. Let's see what I'm working with here. Getting the citra off of there. I think I'm smelling mosaic. Something a little more bitter. Maybe it's the grapefruit. It smells some grapefruit off of there. Grapefruit citra, maybe? I don't know. Or is it the Amarillo? I don't know. But it smells pretty good. Ooh. This is wow, this is different. This is really different. Oh my god, I thought that uh, what was that one that uh B forty three was different. I think was it forty three? Might have been a lake haze. I don't know, but this one's definitely different. This is <laughs> this is unique for real to me. So I'm so glad I did doing this one in a way. So like I said, it's a 8.3 ABV and 55 IBU. And I can believe the. Uh, I'm surprised the IBU ain't higher on this one. By the way, it's tasting. You know, that last one went down smooth, went down good. <clears throat> I 
I'm not saying it's entirely related. You get like a slight hint at the back end, like at the back of the tongue. A little bit at the sides of the tongue. It's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, it's not a bad thing. So, um, hold on, let me double check. <laughs> See my dog. <laughs> That's my rocket. <laughs> rocket, what are you doing over there? Uh, Pippa Rocket, what are you doing over there? You finally made it to one of my shows. Oh, baby girl, you made it to my show. Oh. <laughs> yep. Well, I get back to that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is good. I've got no complaints. I mean, uh, definitely taste, I want to say I'm tasting the Amarillo in here for sure. Okay, as far as the everything else, like the Pearl and whatnot, the Mosaic. Um, uh, you know, I'm going to have to do something about that where I'm able to pick out the tastes of all this. But I'm definitely getting the citra out of here. And I can tell this is really a double one. This is, what is it, Imperial? Yeah. Double New England style. And some places I looked at, it's calling it an Imperial Double New England style IPA. So, you know. Which I can believe. <laughs> it being a double. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, again, I've caught this one good. Uh, you know, I'm going to have to figure something out. So, okay, this was packaged at 9, 10, 20, 20. And this is what, 9 or 11, 19? So two months old. So this ain't bad. Two months old, roughly. So getting it relatively fresh here, and it seems to be pretty good. And if you're not familiar with Alpena, Michigan, okay, yeah, Alpena, Michigan is about here in Michigan. Okay, it's about here. And you know, I've been there a few times. I've actually, I don't know if I still have family or right. I know I had family up there at one point, and now I'm not entirely sure. But I had family members living in Alpena, Michigan, which is really nice. I've been up there a few times in Alpena. It is a nice, nice town, for real. And when you start getting in some of the suburbs or, like, outside of Alpena, it's almost like being out in, I don't know. It's like being by next to a big city, but you get, like, 10 to 20 miles out and it's like you're in Stickville, USA for real in some parts so but then again I might be wrong but then again this was like <laughs> 30 years ago so times might have changed since then yeah because I mean I remember one year it was like 86 yeah I know I'm showing my age here I mean if, if you haven't noticed <laughs> and 86 I was like 13 12, 13 years old at that time so and I'm 47 now so 34 years ago something like that roughly yeah and you know and I've been up there a couple of times after that and you know, and just stopped going for some reason. I, I guess they moved out of Alpena for some reason. <laughs> started doing their own thing. Started moving on to other towns. And anyways, let's see. Yeah, this is really good.
I mean, it's good. Question is, is what I buy it again? Only time will tell on that one. And, you know, if I had to give this one a grade, I would have to give this one a six. Really, a six. A six rating. And, Yeah. Well, like I've always said, hey, drink responsibly, don't do nothing stupid. Peace out, brother man. Peace out, sister girl. And I'll see you next time on the next BC's Beer Reviews. It's like being Steve Austin, man, with the beard just all over the place. BC's going to drink some beers to take a seat, baby, have no fear. He will certainly bring the cheer. So sit down and don't move right, right, right. we're BC's.